Hello, Caneo families. This is Sonia Wilson, the Director of Elementary Education for the Caneo Valley Unified School District. We're excited to begin offering distance learning to all of our TK through 5 students beginning Monday, March 30th, as part of our district wide implementation of the distance learning model from grades TK through 12. CVUSD's central goal is to provide learning opportunities for all of our students during this time of school closure and stay at home orders. We recognize that this is a new process for students, teachers, and families alike and we want to provide resources and support to all as we navigate this new system together. We understand that every family is different. Finding a successful routine is really about setting up a system that works for your child and your family. The elementary distance learning approach is asynchronous, which means that it does not have to be done at the same time by everyone. Plan for the three S's of distance learning. Schedule. What time of day is best for learning time? Build a schedule that works for your family since you have the flexibility to decide what is best for you. Write it out or use visuals, post it, and review it with your child before you start the day. Can you schedule other activities in your day too so your child has a clear daily routine? You can also include movement time, play time, snack and meal time, chores, art, reading, outdoor time, and other activities. Space. Where can your child learn best in your home? Find a good learning space for your child at a desk or table. Be sure to reduce distractions like the TV or other screens, toys and pets or siblings, and keep simple materials like pencils and paper ready if needed. You won't need to print anything during distance learning, but writing and working on math problems might need just these simple supplies. Supervision. How much help does your child need from someone at home? Think about how much supervision your child needs. For some students, they may need more help logging in and staying focused. Other students may need check-ins. Find the right balance for your child and praise them for getting their distance learning done. Don't forget to keep reading and moving every day, too. This week, teachers will be reaching out to you and your child through email, Class Dojo, Seesaw, Google Classroom, or another means of familiar class communication. This is our TK through 2 schedule that includes recommended times for ELA, ELD, math, enrichment, as well as daily reading. Teachers will be providing your child with lessons and activities within these suggested time spans, and families can decide the best time of day to complete them. These lessons may be provided through online learning platforms such as Seesaw and Google Classroom. If your child is an English learner, your child's teacher will also share activities to support their language development. If you are looking for additional learning opportunities for your child, please see our district website for resources. Teachers will also be hosting office hours every Friday from 9.15 to 12.15. This is an opportunity for your child to check in and ask questions and receive specific feedback from their teacher. We recognize that connectedness is an important part of a successful distance learning environment. Similar to TK, our grades 3 through 5 schedule provides recommended timeframes for ELA, ELD, and math, along with recommendations for enrichment and daily reading. Students in grades 3 through 5 will also be provided with social studies and science activities. The rollout of distance learning with special education will also begin on March 30th and will be implemented through the course of the week. If your child participates in a special education specialized program, your child's case manager will provide you with a weekly schedule that indicates the content goal areas that will be addressed. Specialized academic instruction will be provided for students who participate in elementary learning centers. Your child's case manager will contact you with a schedule. If your child's current IEP indicates related services, the related service providers will contact you to identify your child's schedule. All distance learning activities will be completed electronically. Students will need a technology device and internet connection to complete their daily activities. If your student needs a device, please fill out the request form on the CVUSD website and pick up a Chromebook device at the designated time frame and location. If you do not have internet access, you can inquire by calling Spectrum as they are offering free internet access to qualifying households. There are so many distance learning resources available online. Please visit the CVUSD homepage, and from there you can click to many resources including how to use general distance learning platforms like Google Classroom and Zoom, how to log in and access district software accounts for your child, 
and how to even find more places to learn and grow online while schools are closed. If you have questions, please reach out to your student's classroom teacher. For special education questions, contact your student's case manager or related service provider. You can also contact your site principal if you need further support or have additional questions. For student technical assistance, please visit the CVUSD website and click the Submit Device Help Desk button at the bottom of the Distance Learning Resources page. We understand that you may have children across different grade levels, school sites, or programs, and the distance learning platforms may look different at each school site for each child. Let's be patient as we get this off the ground and let's stay connected. We're here to support you and your child. Thank you.